the fact of the matter is we start this book out by making it very clear that we ha I am a liberal, have been proud when I was on Crossfire, I was proud to be a liberal, still am. You're a conservative, but the notion that somehow, because you're a liberal conservative, you can't sit down at the table together and try to find some common ground. On a lot of stuff, we're not going to agree. Yeah. I mean, the stuff you're wrong on, we're just not going to be able to agree <laughs> on over time. But I'll tell you this, what's, the difference is that in this country, with the problems that are facing it, we're going to have to sit down, everybody's going to have to give a little, and we're going to get something done. And people expect you to sit down. That's why they elect you. And, and, and not only do they not only not sit down at a table of common ground, they go out to a battleground. That's right. You know, it's not about success and policy. It's about victory and war. Right. We I mean, need to move from crossfire to ceasefire, Bob, and that's what we're recommending in this yeah. book. Uh, polarization has had its run, as you've said, for about 20 years, mm -hmm. and the polarizers had better get out of the way because the people are prepared to take back their country. And it, it's going to change in 2008. It's going to happen in the presidential election, I think, because w one of these presidential candidates, the Democrat or the Republican, maybe both, are going to grab hold of the common ground theme. Well, Hillary Clinton already is. She's already, already is, that's right. It. And Barack Obama's yeah, talked about exactly. it. Exactly. And if Rudy Giuliani talks about it, then we really know common ground yeah. is taken off. But I'll tell you, we've just come through 16 years of the two most polarizing presidents you could imagine. It's like you ordered him at a central casting. Mm -hmm. George Bush, who my side cannot stand, I won't say this for good reason, but and Bill Clinton, on your guy's side, you, you, you want to stir up a conservative crowd, right? You mentioned right. Bill Clinton's Absolutely. name. Absolutely. So in the middle of polarization, we've had 16 years of the two central casting polarizer poster children for for polarization, Bill Clinton and George Bush, and the public is sick of it. And I think I think Bill Clinton understands it. I think he told his wife, "We better get out of this business. Of you being seen as a polarizer, right. and let's get some common ground done because it can work." 